So I've already prepped my eyes. I used my Catrice Eye Foundation Primer and then my Max Select Cover Concealer in the shade NW NC50 to prep my eyes. So the next thing that I will do, I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Mocha Mommy to use it as my transition color. So I'm going to take, take off the excess and then apply it on my crease. You can use your bronzer, you can use even your contour powder as your transition color. One thing with eyeshadow, you must not use your eyeshadow as a transition color. You can use your bronzer or your contour powder. You will still come with the same result. So after applying my transition color, I'm going to use Becca Highlighter in Cinnamon Sugar on my lid as my lid color. So but before I apply that, I'm going to use my MAC Mixing Medium to apply on my lid before applying the highlighter. Why I want to do this is because this highlighter has some shine and shimmer to it. If I apply it directly on my eyelid, after some time, the whole eyeshadow, the whole highlighter will be all over my eyes and I don't want it. So the secret to preventing eyeshadow from transferring to your whole face or to your whole eyes is to use MAC Mixing Medium. Alternative to this is NYS Glitter Primer. That glitter primer is also very good. It keeps your eyeshadow, whether you are using glitter, whether you are using um, eyeshadow that has um, shine to it or shimmer to it, it's going to keep it in place. So I'm going to apply that on my lid just a tad bit. If you want, you can mix it with your concealer, but because I've already applied concealer, I'm just going to apply it on my eyelid. So when I apply the highlighter on my eyelid, so it's going to stick to this mixing medium. And then it's not going anywhere. So I'm going to take this brush, then take some highlighter, tap up the excess, and then apply it on my eyelid. In as much as that this highlight had so many glitter and shine to it, if I look up, it's not going to transfer. It's going to be where I put them to be. It can be annoying after applying your eyeshadow on your eyelid. Before you know what is happening, you see those eyeshadows on your crease. The secret to it is this. Use MAC mix, uh, Mixing Medium or NYS Glitter Primer. So after that, I'm going to go back to the brush that I use as my transition brush and then blend so that I won't have harsh lines here. Then I'm going to do the same too. So after that, I'm going to use my duo lash glue. You see me do this so many times. This is the easiest way to apply lashes. You just apply it on your eyes, your lash line, very close to your lash line.
then I will give it some seconds to get tacky and then I'm going to use though I've used it before this is Adele Whispies I've used them before so I'm going to use them again today So, then I'm going to press both the falsies and my natural lashes together. So, this is the, can you see? There is no eyeshadow transfer. The eyeshadow is still where, the highlighter, sorry, is still where it is. Can you see that? Yeah. So let me go off camera, finish the rest of my face, then I will come back. So beauties, this is the final look. As you can see, the eyeshadow is still where it is. Hope you enjoy this type of video. If you do, kindly give my video a thumbs up. Comment, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. And I will catch you on my next video. Stay blessed and stay safe. Bye.